close your eyes, take a couple of good long deep breaths. Think of the breath sweeping out your body, sweeping out your mind. All the concerns you may be carrying around, you can put them aside, sweep them out and toss them away for the time being. It may sound irresponsible, but it's not. The mind needs time to be by itself, to gather its strength, to gather its energies, so that it can have the strength to carry on whatever responsibilities it really does have to look into, really does have to be responsible for. If the mind doesn't rest, then even though you may be doing your duties, you're not doing them as well as you could. The mind needs its own time to gather its strength together. It needs a little free time. And this is what can really get to know itself as well, because all too often we know ourselves only in relationship to other people, other issues outside. And as for the mind's own real needs, we don't get a chance to sit down and watch them and look at them carefully. So here is your opportunity. You have no other responsibilities right now. You can just be right here with a breath. Let things settle down for a bit before you start analyzing them. Give them a chance to fall into their proper places. And then you can analyze them as, as you like to see where you're causing yourself unnecessary suffering, where you're causing unnecessary stress, how you can put an end to that. Those are important questions to ask, but we don't ask them because we've got too many other pressing responsibilities all the time. So take some time to let things settle down so you can see clearly what's going on in the mind, what you really want, what you think you want, but you don't really want. There's a lot to sort out right here, so you need a lot of free time. This is why it's good to come to a place like this where you have a lot of time to yourself, have a lot of seclusion, because you find that when you're in physical seclusion, your mind isn't secluded. It's been carrying around all these other things. Well, this is their time to open up your luggage and sort out what you really want to take with you and what you don't. That's that story they tell about John Lee. When going to go with a group of lay people out into the forest. They were going to take the train from Bangkok up to Lopardi and then go into the forest. And they arrived at the station. All the lay people had brought lots and lots of luggage, thinking that they would be able to get porters to put it on the train and porters to take it off the train and carry it into the forest for them when they got there. So what did John Lee do? He started walking down the track. The John's walking down the track. Everybody else has to walk down the track. Of course, everybody started complaining. Why are you making us walk? We've got so much luggage. First, a John Lee didn't say anything, then finally said, well, if it's heavy, throw it away. So one by one, the people stopped and sorted out their bags. And what they didn't need, they threw into the ponds on the side of the railroad track there. By the time they got to the next station, everybody had just one bag and had just their necess necessary things. That's when he allowed them to get on the train. Well, as you go through life, it's good to have a chance to sit down and sort things out like this and to throw away all the unnecessary baggage you've been carrying. That way the mind is less weighed down, and when you're not weighed down, then you actually have more time for what's really important in your life and how you can help other people. So take this time to sort things out inside, so your burdens can get lighter and lighter. And what you really are responsible for, you can handle with ease, you can handle with finesse, because you're not burdening yourself with a lot of unnecessary garbage. <laughs>